episode 4 already in this Madden Ultimate Team series. I'm having so much fun on this game. Madden 12 has really met my expectations. As Madden 11 was a huge disappointment, I came in very critical about this game. But Ultimate Team alone has just captured my interest. And I am already addicted to this game mode. And I can't wait to get back to playing it some more and making my team better. And we're getting off to another good start in this game here. Getting the opening drive touchdown to my fullback from the quarterback, Jimmy Clausen. But the quarterback position is still something I'm not so happy about. I need to get someone in a pack. And I got some real playmakers on this team, especially the defense. I mean, carry this safety. This dude's getting me so many picks. Pat Angerer, A.J. Hawk, B.J. Raji. I know I only have Raji, Hawk, and Wallace for a few more games because they were demo special cards. And so my strategy in this was to save up to 9,000 and hopefully replace them with gold premium players. And so my team stays on a high level and we have those playmakers that are helping us win games. And so now we're going into another game against the Juno Blizzard. I like guys that have creative names like this. And he's getting off to a good start. He's finding his version of the Casey tight end. And he's getting the first down into my territory. And he's starting to pick apart my defense on his opening drive. He gets a first down there to Emmanuel Sanders, a guy who I would love to have on my team. And then he goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Blizzard. And he's up 7-0 early, and I'm trying to get something going. I came into this game with one halfback, Rock Cartwright. And Ben Tate was out, and so Cartwright was my only running back I could use. And that caused me to pass it a lot this game, because I don't want a heavily fatigued Rock Cartwright to fumble the ball or get injured on me and leave me with no one left. And so I was struggling on offense for a majority of this game. No, I haven't even scored yet in the first half. I'm trying to get something going. I find Rock Cartwright getting into field goal range. And then Clausen rolling out to his left. I don't know what he's doing here, but he gets sacked. Come on, guys. No huddle. Hustle to the line. We got to get this snap off. We got to spike the ball, kick a field goal. And we got two guys that don't feel like hustling. And so we go to the half, down 0-7. to seven. Now midway through the third quarter, trying to get something going. My fullback, Johnson, the backup running back, gets us a first down. Nice six-yard game, but he was very good against my run. And we can't get anything going. I try to find Casey over the middle. And so a minute left in the third quarter. Can we get something going? Casey gets a first down to the 30-yard line. And now first down and 10. Jimmy Clausen, good protection, finds Tony Scheffler for a first down inside of the red zone. And now i got to make use of this opportunity. Rock Cartwright breaks the tackle, and he's going to score a touchdown, tying this game up at 7 apiece. Now he's trying to answer back now with this tie game. And A.J. Hawk picks it off over the middle. We're back in action inside of the 25-yard line. We have the momentum. It is completely shifted in our favor. Jimmy Clausen, second and goal. Looking left. Harry Douglas catches the ball in the end zone. Touchdown. We go up 14-7. to And now he's playing from behind. Dennis Dixon is sacked on the play, making it 4th and 24, and he decides to go for it. And I like this situation right here, and we knock the ball away, and we get the ball on his 6-yard line. Play action, Clawson throws right to Casey, touchdown 21-7. to And in the final 6 minutes of this game, we just exploded on offense. 31-7, to all my points scored in the final 6 minutes of the game. But I'm not done there. I got to go back to the field. I want to keep playing. We got to get them coins. We got to get this team better. That's what it's all about. So we're going against a 75 overall team now. Just playing some more head-to-head -head matches. We're up 3-0 early. I find Mike Wallace who breaks a couple of tackles. Gets away from the defenders. And he's so fast. He scores a touchdown. Making this 10 to nothing early in the game. And this game is already in my favor. Tavares Jackson to the right. Muhammad Massacore the purple wall in front of him. And he's going to go up the right side. Pass the 30. 20. No one's going to catch him. He gets past the secondary. Touchdown Muhammad Massacore. It's a long screen pass for a touchdown. And we're up 17 to nothing. Now, just before the half, looking right, and T-Jack is inaccurate. I need someone to replace him now. I need a good player to pack. Let's go back to that screen pass. What do you say? Muhammad Massacoy, it worked before. It works again. Touchdown. We're up. 24-10, and he would battle back a little bit, but I would force a fumble inside the five-yard line, and we'd pick it up. We'd seal this game off, and we'd win once again. Get a bunch more coins on our way to extending our winning streak and winning 31 to 19. 
but I want to play one more game. I need to get up to 9,000 coins, so we got an even 74 overall matchup. And he would have the ball early and find Darius Hayward Bay making another appearance against my team, shredding my zone coverage, getting a long touchdown. He's up 7-0 early on my team, so we're coming back. No score. Now uh, two minutes left in the second quarter, and T-Jack is just busting my balls. I need someone to replace him before he costs us a game. We go to a short pass now. Miller, the tight end, and he's going to get past the secondary. No one was covering him. Touchdown. We're tying this game up at seven apiece. Now with a few minutes left in the second quarter, trying to get the running game going with Ben Tate, but his run defense was stingy against me, but I tried to get what I could out of it. Jimmy Clausen looking right, Harry Douglas beats the cornerback, touchdown, best in the world, 14-7, we take the lead, and he's got the ball, time running down now in the third quarter, he looks over the middle, and he finds his receiver Mike Wallace for a first down. And he's threatening on my defense. We gotta step it up. He finds Mike Wallace once again for a first down. He's a tough guy to cover, but that's no excuse, guys. We gotta step up our coverage. And a big pen drops back. Looking right. He's got a man open, but it's just knocked away by Carey. That was clutch right there. Setting up fourth and ten. He's going to go for it from my 33-yard line. Thick pen out of the gun. Finds Darius Hayward Bay over the middle for a first down. So he's threatening to score on us. we got to play better D, guys. First down. He finds his man in the end zone. Touchdown. He's going to tie this game up with an extra point. But he goes for the fake. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Maybe he thought he wouldn't be able to score against me again. But he gets the ball back with two and a half minutes left. Out of the gun. Thick pen looking over the middle. But it's picked off by A.J. Hawk. And now I got the opportunity to run out this clock, win this game. But it's third and nine, looking to seal this game. Clawson in for the replace. Tavares Jackson looking to clinch this game. Clawson to the left side and is caught by Muhammad Masakoy. That'll be a first down. And I'll be able to run out the rest of this clock. And instead of letting me kneel, he just decided to quit. Yeah, that's cool too. I got 9,000 coins. I don't really care. So we're 7-0. and And we just reached 9,000 coins and so we're ready to buy a gold premium pack. I really want a quarterback so I can replace Jimmy Clausen and Tavares Jackson, but I'll take whatever I can get out of this pack. I got Cameron Wake and I'm running the 3-4 defense, so Cameron Wake's a guy I love to have on my team. And to get him and Dominique Rogers Camardi out of this pack, I'm very satisfied also with Maurice Morris being my new third down back. But I want to bring you guys one more game, and thank you to my longtime subscriber, TH13Beast, for referring to my ultimate team. But I want to bring you guys one more game this episode against the Average Joes. I'm bringing a new starting quarterback, Jason Campbell, but I wanted to check his team out. Look at this. Drew Brees, Eric Dickerson, and Jerry Rice. Is that supposed to scare me? You need offensive linemen to block for a Hall of Fame running back. You gotta have a defense to stop my offense. And so I was excited to get this game going. I was pumped up just by seeing that right there. That gave me the motivation. And so I got the ball first quarter. Jason Campbell, a new quarterback, welcome to the team. Finds Muhammad Masakoy, 21-yard completion inside the red zone. And now looking to the left side, Harry Douglas on the sidelines. Nice catch, getting another first down, first and goal. And then on second and goal, Jason Campbell finds Mike Wallace over the middle. And he's going to get down to the one-yard line. Setting us up for an easy score. Jason Campbell, quarterback sneak. Welcome to the team. Your first touchdown in a big game. And so now I want to put DRC on Jerry Rice, my fastest player and best man covering cornerback. And here he comes out, first down on his 15-yard line. Dickerson goes nowhere. Cameron Wake on the stop, the ex-Canadian Football League player, and now second and 12. He gives it back to Dickerson, but Cameron Wake is there again. Stops him after a gain of one, making it third and 11, and he's got Drew Brees, so he's out of the gun, looking to pass on third and long. Brees drops back, looking over the middle, and it's picked off by Dominique rogers Camardi, trying to squeeze it into Jerry Rice. That ain't gonna work. I get the ball to his 30-yard line, but I would not even get another snap off. He would pause the game, and just as I thought he'd do, he quit. But thank you for the free coins and the victory. I'll take that. I don't lose any contracts. So that's going to conclude Episode 4 in this Ultimate Team Series. That was one of my favorite games right there, just because I made someone rage quit in the first quarter that had paid money to get Hall of Famers on their team. 
But, you know, subscribe to my channel if you already have it, and catch up with the series if you're behind. Like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in episode 5.